All right, Coach Snyder, uh, victory here today. I think about a 16-0 run there between the end of the second, beginning of the third, maybe kind of you know broke things open for you. Just uh, your thoughts overall on how the girls played. Okay, uh, I thought uh, you know that was very important. That's something we talked at halftime that we wanted to extend our lead, and uh, and we came out and we got that done. Um, <clears throat> other than that, uh, you know, uh, it, it was it was good that we could maybe cruise a little bit. I thought we cruised a little too much late in the fourth quarter, but uh, we'll get past that, and uh, we're looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, Hannah goes for a, a career high time, 19. Jenna had 17, Leah 13, and then, you know, kind of Marley doing her thing. I mean, that's just kind of the stuff that you've come to expect from this team. Pretty much so. I, yeah, it, it was uh, pretty much clockwork as far as that goes. When you uh, look at this uh, group and kind of, uh, you know, some of the, you know, obviously losing Abby Hurt, how much have you seen this group grow maybe around Jenna and Marley since then, though? Okay, uh, you know, at the start of the year, I don't know if it, you interviewed me or who did, but my, my point uh, then was we needed to develop our sophomore uh, talent. And I think that's coming around, and I think it's pretty obvious with, uh, you know, uh, the stats that they're putting in and the time that they're putting in. And you know what? Sometimes they might not show up in the scoring stats, but what they're doing is they're handling the ball, they're handling the pressure. We, we don't have any kind of crazy numbers of turnovers and that sort of thing. Uh, so they're helping us immensely, those, those younger sophomores that, uh, you know, uh, we've come to depend on right now. Get a chance to win another corner conference tournament title tomorrow night. Don't know the opponent just yet. That one's coming down to the wire, as far as I know right now. What are your thoughts, kind of, on just what what it will take for your team to you know do it again? Well, uh, we need to rest. Uh, there's uh, that definitely needs to happen, and uh, just not let it go to our heads. Okay, uh, and uh, you know if we put, we're playing like we're number two and we're playing number one, uh, we'll be just fine. Yep. Coach, thanks. Thank you. All right, Hannah Olson, sophomore here for Stanton and tying her career high with 19 points. And Hannah, a uh, strong performance from you and your team tonight. What was going well for you personally? How would you feel about how you played? Uh, we just started off the game really well, and our plays were working out, and I was getting a lot of open layups that were just, I mean, easy shots to make, and we just we were working well together. For you, uh, tell me a little bit about your growth from last year. You heard Coach talking about you know developing the sophomore class. Where where's your growth come from? Um, everywhere. I mean, just on the court everywhere. Shots, good decisions, good passes, assists. I mean, it's all just like coming together. It was twenty. It was twenty to nineteen at one point. And then you guys rattle off the next sixteen. Was there anything that you can point at that uh, you know was a big part of that that run for you? Um, we got on a run and we had a lot of like fast breaks um, to Leah, who she made a lot of layups, and then Jenna made a couple threes, and we all just the momentum came to our our side, and we just kept going with it. Chance to play for a corner conference tournament championship tomorrow. Uh, what do you what do you think it'll take for your team to come out on top? Um, like Coach Snyder said, I think we should just not let it get to our head and play like we're number two and just come in and do our thing. What's your number one? Yep. Yeah, well, not yet. <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good answer. Congratulations, Anna. Great job. Thank you.